I don't even... Yeah, he was playable in Storm 2 as a secret character. Nice. Oh, I don't know if you could maybe combo that into a Jutsu. Ow. Oh, nice miss. What the shit? Okay, you can hit him with the first blow, but nothing after it. Alright. That's good. Here we go. Shit. What's he doing? Yo. Is the AI glitch? Oh, you would. Dickhead. Goodbye. Yes. Hello. Oh. <laughs> I love that. So awesome. Uh, 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 uh. Boot to the face. I was feeling pity for him because he stopped moving. I don't know why the AI does that. It just stops moving. Needs work. Unless you fix that, you'll never. The AI just doesn't want to move after a certain point. I don't know. Maybe there were so many ways he could have dicked me over, including sitting there doing nothing. Damn, I'm gullible. I should have beat his ass. Like I should just ultimate uh, use the ultimate right there. But I don't know. I, I feel pity for games these days made so shittily, with so many glitches up the ass. I already knew that getting those two to work together would be a problem, especially Kakashi, whose skills as a ninja were already great. He didn't understand the value of friendship. If only Kakashi understood that, then he might become a truly powerful ninja. Come to think of it, it was my own predecessors who first taught me the values important to a ninja. Jiraiya Sensei especially taught me so much. Even after I began standing on my own two feet, away from my teacher. More than once, as if testing my progress, we traded fists with each other. I remember when my selection as the fourth Hokage had been decided. I couldn't help feeling a little uneasy. Back when the third thought he could peacefully retire. <laughs> Before they enlisted him for ten more so years. you're finally gonna sit in the Hokage's chair. Hey, Minato? Do you think I'm really strong enough to protect the village? No. <laughs> Are you worried? In that case, why don't we spar? It's been too long, and it might help ease your mind. I suppose it would be a fitting test for a future Hokage. All right, Jiraiya Sensei. Let's fight. That's right. I'll ease your mind by putting my size 12 sandal right through your head. Works all the time. Loading. Uh, the usual getting stuck at 80%. Very nice. The battle begin. That's pretty funny because I was actually about to use my ultimate, but it didn't come out. Nope. I was actually about to use my ultimate. Just, you know, pretty funny. Oh, how about this? <laughs> Surprise! Oh! The Rasengan impregnation. I love it. Alright, I said throw, but guess what came out? Hold on. Oh no, it doesn't matter. I You load chakra by accident, it still doesn't matter. Oh well. Oh, well, at least it's not like a, a glitch or anything. It's me accidentally pressing Y when reaching for B. Alright, keep doing this. Come on, kill him. Shit! <laughs> that could have been bad. Okay, I'm gonna let him get some hits. Oh, nope, not good enough. That's better. Thanks to you, Sensei. I feel relieved. Sure. Oh, 
Oh, now you can use him. Minato Namikaze Jonin. What, do they have his Hokage form too? Perhaps Jiraiya Sensei lost on purpose that day to help me get over my doubts. I will explain him running towards you like an idiot. Either way, he lifted a burden from my heart. Of course, the position of Hokage carried many responsibilities, but I'd never know if I could manage if I didn't try. And I wasn't alone. My teachers, friends, my charges, and of course, my loved ones. I was surrounded by so many irreplaceable people. Thanks to them, as Hokage, I would grow strong. My conviction to walk the path of the Hokage was set. And then, he must have sensed my conviction. For the third Hokage challenged me to a match. Why? I knew at once what that would mean. Most people in their golden years decide to retire. Lord Hokage. <laughs> Why do you wish to fight me? Come now. Someone of your prowess should already understand that. Well then, show me what you can do. Okay. Most people prefer to retire and enjoy a nice, peaceful final years. You know, sorting through mail and sending gift cards on their loved ones' birthdays filled with money. That's what mine do. The battle begins. Let's go. What? Oh wow, it walked me right up to him. Damn it. Ow. Damn, he's really not playing around. Oh shit, I, I just won for Sengon. Gave me that. Ow. Why is he white? Yo, what? Must be an item. Item effect. You son of a bitch. I hate those things because I can't see them until they're actually on top of me. What? Oh, he ducked it. Alright. I can live with that. Guard that! Yes! Wow, I like how my guard is already red. Nope, fuck you. Wow, wh why'd it drop it? And why was there no guard? It dropped the combo and there was no guard. I don't know what happened there at all. No shit, he has that pull. That pull is actually alive. It's the Monkey King, I think. In any event... He was saying something and it cut off. I hope Medicare covers this fight. Oh shit. Brutal beatdown. Apparently I unlocked his Hokage outfit while playing as the Jonin version. Whatever the difference is. Past Hokages. You can now use all past Hokages. They had achievements like that in uh, Storm 2. Oh, unlock everyone from the Leaf Village. Victory was mine, but victory was not what was necessary. I already understood that. Through his fists, the third Hokage was testing my will, my determination, and of course, the burdens I carried. After the fight, the third Hokage smiled at me gently before walking away. After changing into another outfit right in front of me. I left as the fourth Hokage. For me, my days as the Hokage were priceless. The smiles on people's faces made me truly happy. 
their happiness was my happiness. But then... But then Madara came and fucked shit up. Appeared. His sudden attack threw the village into panic. He suffered terrible losses. I wish I could have heard over that giant symbol clash. I could sense that someone was manipulating the Nine Tails, and I spared no effort in discovering who. And then. And then I was suddenly thrust into a fight without explaining anything about it. It's it's Toby in a different form. That's not gonna hit. What the shit? Okay. He can do the invisible teleport too. And hit people behind him when he's facing in a completely different direction. Great. Excellent. I this fight is gonna be great. Finally got the first hit, and I'm almost on my second bar of health. What the fuck is that? Alright, try and even the odds here. No guard! <laughs> no guard! <laughs> How far does it go? Thank you, and it did the teleport anyway. What's his awakening? Probably nothing. It isn't. Here we go. Damn it, this motherfucker using items. I don't use items, like, ever. You could say, oh, it's your fault. I just don't use them. And I'll take that cheap win, bitch. I'm curious about this one's true shape. But right now, stopping the Nine Tails comes first. Shitty. Masked Man, which is actually Toby in disguise. I mean, obviously, who else wears a mask look, looking like a giant puckered anus? Who else besides Toby, who uses like five of them throughout the series? I was able, somehow, to repel the Masked Man's attacks. But to the bitter end, his confidence remained unflagging. Without a doubt, I knew he would yet bring future calamities to the world. Probably involving something in about the moon. The tails, and to secure the power needed to resist the masked man in the future. Only one route was left open to me. I would seal the nine tails into my son, turning him into a Now they make him sound like an asshole in the game, but he actually had a legitimate reason. My son had what it would take to brave the future as a Jin Churiki, and to one day face that man. I don't know how I knew this, but for some reason, I did. But that was the only thing that I could leave my son. All those With a permanent curse, because I, I loved him that body. much. Naruto, I bequeath them all to you. I know that you can do it. After all, you're my son. I believe in 